what one moment y'all will not believe this like it feels like i'm making this stuff up i wish this was a joke but today is not the day today is not the day people Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I am working from home. I'm only working a half day. I'm actually going to be done working in about an hour. I have an appointment to go to and the rest of the day is pretty much just phone calls as far as work goes like if I were to work the full day but I'm not gonna be here for that so I'm just trying to get some stuff done this morning I've been primarily working on my on one of my Tableau dashboards what I'm trying to find out is why I'm getting nulls so with nulls that just means there's no value but I'm trying to look at the data source to determine why it's showing a null value for the month of April which is the data that I just uploaded into the source I don't know if I need to I, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do I don't know if I need to put in a calculated field in here to see if that's coming because I have data coming from multiple sources so I don't know if it's null in one source and not in another source so I could do a calculated field in Tableau like if null if this is null give me this other field instead kind of like trying to create a union by um doing that so actually i might let me see why do it why is it here three times let me check my data source i don't know why so this has that this is already joined so i need to where do i need to join it at so i'm going to create a calculated field in tap oh hold on what is going on so i'm going to create a calculated field so if null, so if this field is null, give me um, this field. So I'm going to try that and see if that fixes the problem. Oh, it did not. Okay, let me edit. Okay, there we go. I'm going to my dashboard to see how it looks. And I need to also, I'm also going to alias out this, if I can, alias. Can I kind of create an alias? Why does this keep giving me an error and it's so loud? All right, I'm going to create, let me get a blanket cell sheet. I'm going to create a custom list. I just want to change the date format. So I need to, why is the order of the months? Why are they not in order since I've edited? Oh my gosh, how do I, is that right? I need to check these numbers. These numbers look crazy. 73 146 1.4 yeah this number is not right that can't okay yeah i have no clue why these numbers are not right this is two point is that right 2.87 for eight. that is not right okay let me i need to go figure out what's going on with these numbers because it's giving me 2.8 million and I'm thinking the total should be closer to 1.5 so what is happening it's 12 24 128 it's 166 so this is 959 total so why oh uh, okay I need to check my numbers okay you guys so I went back to the data source and it looks like I have duplicates in my data so I need to make some adjustments so that let me double check something. Hold on, is it duplicating? It's definitely a duplicate because of the amount I went in. Where was it at again? I need to move you guys to the side because you're kind of in the way. Yeah, okay, so it's, um, it is duplicating the numbers three times from what I see. So I need to go back and see what's causing the issue and fix these numbers. So that's what I'm gonna work on um where is the data because this wasn't and i think this is a me problem i did this so i need to where is the file I'm, i think i'm gonna have to just re-upload it um i'm just checking my data first 
this was for April data. Put these headphones in the case before they die. One thing I do not. I've been looking for another pair of headphones because one, there, well, there's two things I don't like about the earpods. Are these, are they called Pro Max? The earpods Pro Max, one, I don't like that it, there's no power button. Two, I don't like that they're so heavy. This case is ugly, but maybe that's number three. <laughs> okay, where is, okay, let me copy this into a new file so I'm not messing up my original file and try this again. Okay, I see why it's in there three times. So let me find this person to see. Okay, all right. I see what's causing my duplicates in there. I need to add in some additional filters. And now I can connect this back to Tableau. So I'm gonna finish working on getting this corrected and I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow because after I finish this, I'm leaving for an appointment. I won't be back working until tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Okay, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. So today, oh, it feels like a Friday, honestly. Like, I think it's because I took a half day yesterday. So today feels like Friday, even though it's only Thursday. So today on my schedule, and I have two calls, I believe. I think we're still going to have the second call. I need to check with someone to make sure we are still going to have the second call um, at 12 o'clock. So I have a call. We have like our weekly, our standard weekly call that we have with other um, teams to go over like updates and projects and that kind of thing. And then we have, I have, I've been invited to join a call from someone on our, on another team to learn about like their Tableau dashboard and the like the metrics, the things that they're measuring um, for performance and that kind of thing. So the thought is that I would help them out with some of their Tableau projects, but they have a lot of metrics that I'm not familiar with. So there's that. So I think it'll be helpful for me because I do want to, you know, continue to learn more things about Tableau that I don't know. And I think this is a good opportunity. Of course, I need to I have to run this by my manager when she returns to the business and on that note I don't know if I put this in another vlog or not because I've been mostly dealing with this why this issue while I've been in the office so I don't know if I've discussed it if I did I will edit this out but long story short I lost my access to um Teradata or EDW I lost my access to that again the reason being is that we're, we typically go through like an annual data security certification type thing. You have to certify that you still need access to those tools. Your manager has to certify that after you, that you still need access to those tools. So I went through doing that certification at the beginning of May. And I wanna say two weeks after I completed my portion, they sent my manager an email that she needed to certify that I still need I still needed access to like the databases and that kind of thing, these tools. However, when they sent her the email, she was out of the business. So unable to do the certification. And me, I don't like, if I'm out of the business, whether that's personal vacation or other, don't contact me. I don't, I don't know if this is just me, but like if I'm off or out of the business for whatever reason, don't contact me, you know? So I did not want to contact her about that because she was out of the business. But I kept getting emails, your access is going to be revoked in like 10 days, nine days, like every morning I came in to work with an email saying my access is going to be revoked. So I finally messaged her about it. I didn't want to, but I finally messaged her saying, hey, I need to get this done. She said that she would try to get it done. I still got emails about it. So I assumed it wasn't able to be done. So I lost access. And then I, and it, the ticket was like, like, there's no exceptions. You have to submit a, or the email said, there's no exceptions to this. Submit a ticket to get your access back. So I submitted a ticket. It goes to my director for approval. My director approves the ticket for me to get my access back. I'm like, okay, good. I'll have my access back. I got the email. Like he approved it same day. Someone else approved it in IT same day. And then it has to go to the database admins to approve and reinstate my access. But it took them a couple of days, but like they're not the fastest team. So it took them a couple of days before 
they approved my access and when they approved it it was like oh it's gonna go in the following day like over the weekend so I was like oh I'll check it and make sure I have access on Monday come in Monday still don't have access so I'm like what is going on so they are reaching out to me via slack and it's like your manager never sent us the email you know to approve your access and I'm like she's out of the business like she can't like technically she can't she's out of the business like when you're out of the business how are you still doing work long story short had to go back and forth with them go and ask them if my director can approve it because he's the next level like he's the next level in my hierarchy he's above my manager why can't he approve it and they're just asking me when is your actual manager going to be back like why can't my actual director who's still in the business why can't he approve it so after all that back and forth a little bit of escalation they finally allowed him to approve it just sending the email saying yes I do want even though he even though even though he's the one who approved my ticket saying yes you need access still have to send an email like this stuff makes no sense at all so that's what's been happening so in the meantime I've just been working on Tableau dashboards because I you can work on them offline so long as you don't need to refresh data or um you know do any kind of updates or modifications outside of the tool that requires like a, a external data connection or something like that so that's what I've been working on so yeah what one moment y'all will not believe this my it is suspended again this morning i just got my access back what two days ago and i'm suspended again why i just went through like this is getting on my nerves like seriously i don't understand i just went through this entire process why is my id suspended again i'm email i'm gonna submit this ticket but i'm emailing them because we just went through this entire freaking process two days ago why is my id suspended again why i don't understand I didn't do any I went through the entire process let me fill out this ticket and then I'm gonna email this team like why is it suspended again I just I don't understand like something's not aligning if there's an automated process happening on the back end that you guys are not like you're working around I need y'all to reinstate my access because this is ridiculous Okay, let me email them. Reply all. Okay, you guys, so I checked my email. I got an email yesterday morning after I left for the day because I stopped working at like 1030 because I had because I had a half day. So they sent me an email at 11 a.m. saying my ID was suspended because my manager didn't recertify. You guys dropped my access last week because my manager didn't recertify. How is it again dropped again? I'm thinking something's not aligning because I got an email saying your your access is going to be revoked same day. Like it says no exception same day of the email I got. They did revoke my access same day and I submitted a ticket to get it back. So this seems like an automated email that's working separately from this other email or there's a separate process in place. So my access is revoked again for the same reason, the same certification. So how is it that they revoked it same day and then a week later it's revoked again? Like I, I just can't, like it feels like I'm making this stuff up and I'm literally not. I wish this was a joke, but it is not. This is so stupid. Like, I don't know. I, I, I am going to, I guess all I can do is wait, wait for someone to respond to let me know what the heck is going on. Let me know why my access is revoked again. I submitted another ticket. I'm just waiting. It's early in the morning, so I, I, I don't know. But I need the team, 
the database admins please respond because this makes no sense and I don't want to go through this whole thing that we went through last week or was it last week earlier this week about oh where's your manager and my manager's out of the business when is she gonna I don't, I don't want to go through all of that again like just reinstate my access because we just we just did this we just played these games and I'm not trying to do it again so yeah I'm not in a good mood I'm 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 pissed about this happening again like this is the third time it's happened in April it's happened in May and now it's happening again in June like I'm over it okay all right so I guess I'm back to working on Tableau dashboards again even though that was a part of the plan to work on some of that but I needed to run some code for something which I can't do so fun times all right I'll I won't have anything to say I, I'll check in with you guys later all right, hello you guys. The database admins are looking into it, but the guy who um, responded and reinstated my access just a couple of days ago, he responded and said, hey, we'll look into it. So I hope they are because you just unsuspended me two days ago. Why am I suspended again? All right, so still trying to work things out. And then someone on my team messaged me yesterday while I was out asking about asking about um, some changes that I made to a template for reporting that I made on Monday. Now mind you when I was in the office on Monday we have like these little daily like pull up you know calls and I discussed hey I made these changes this is the reporting source that we need to use for it blah 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 and I felt at the time like they just kind of like brushed it off and maybe they weren't paying attention but maybe he wasn't paying attention I don't know but I just felt like they, he just brushed it off and kept it moving okay so why are you messaging me yesterday now that it's time to actually do the updates and then you're like oh I figured it out but when I look at the numbers these aren't the right numbers okay so now I feel like he has an attitude with me now this is just my interpretation through messages I know like you can read into things one way but the word choice that you chose to use makes it seem as though you have an attitude with me when I'm only trying to make sure we have the right numbers and we have the right date because here's what I do so if it's if you're using someone else's dashboard to get data because there's no need to duplicate reporting if it's already out there I can just use their dashboard to pull results what I do is I subscribe like you can request a subscription email that it sends you a snapshot of the reporting right so they have these charts so it sends me a snapshot of what the numbers were for that particular day and time so I can see okay two days ago the numbers were this three days ago the numbers were this because I get a daily email because I'm subscribed to their dashboard and I request an email so it sends me a snapshot and also it attaches the PDF of the snapshot so you're telling me these number like with sales data it doesn't update in the dashboard until like sometimes 3 4 p.m. if it updates that early so you're telling me you updated this around 1 p.m. your time you are two hours behind me so 1 p.m. your time would have been 3 p.m. my time okay great but did you look at the date on the dashboard so I have the email the numbers that you're saying that you updated the data through that was four days ago because the data is two days in arrears and when you went to update it yesterday yesterday was the fifth you're thinking oh it's two days in arrears but you didn't look at the date on the dashboard where it says it refreshed it had not yet refreshed yet so your numbers and your dates are wrong dude I'm just saying hey these numbers and dates don't match could you please check it and your response is well it's updated anything else uh, today is not the day today is not the day people like I'm already here it's too early in the morning for this I'm already here because of my, the whole thing with my ID and I'm dealing with that trying to get my ID unsuspended again I don't need this on top of that that's all I'm saying <music>